Hello, this is Nick from Laptop Media, and today we will show you how to open the 2023 version of the Asus Tough Gaming F17, FX707. To see the internals of this laptop, you have to undo 12 Phillips head screws. The captive one in the lower right corner will slightly raise the plate up, and that's the best starting point. Pop the front, the left, and the back. The right side should be last, since it's full of ports, which makes it a bit hard to pry. On the inside, the bottom plate features a lot of plastic elements for greater internal structural support. The notebook has a 90 watt hour battery. To remove it, unplug the connector from the main board and undo the four Phillips head screws that fix the unit to the base. The capacity is enough for around 25 hours of web browsing or nine hours of video playback. That's a terrifically good result for a gaming machine. To achieve that, you have to select the performance preset in the Armory Crate app and apply the eco mode to use the iGPU. In addition, the DC fan operation mode is set to Windows preset. You also may turn off the AI noise canceling for the speaker and microphone. The Adaptive Sync Plus and Panel Self Refresh options are turned on in the Intel Graphics Command Center. The Balanced preset is also activated in the Windows Power and Battery menu. The memory and the pre-installed SSD are covered with foil. According to ASUS, the two SODIMs can handle up to 32 gigabytes of DDR4, 3200 megahertz RAM in dual channel mode. Some machines rely on up to 32 gigabytes of DDR5, 4800 megahertz memory. However, since the CPU can support up to 96 gigabytes, this laptop likely wouldn't have issues running a larger amount of memory than the official manufacturer's specified limit. In terms of storage, you get two M.2 slots for Gen 4 SSDs. The Wi-Fi card is placed below the NVMe drive on the left, which isn't an optimal solution. The cooling has two arc flow fans, five heat pipes, four heat sinks, and two heat spreaders. The bigger one also cools the graphics card memory and VRMs.